Hi, I'm George, and we're going to be making an enchanting table for my base right back there. And for that, we need to have a whole lot of bookshelves, and the bookshelves require paper and leather, so I have all of that sugar cane right there for the paper. And then right back here, I have cows for the leather, so that will give us our books. We can then turn our books into bookshelves. For that, we're going to need a lot of paper, 138 at a minimum, and 46 leather, so we've got all that stuff ready to go. We're also going to need to have planks, 90 planks, so I have trees back there to get the planks from. Pretty easy to do. And then some obsidian, just four obsidian and two diamond. I already have those gathered. We then have enough to set up our enchanting table. Okay, let's go inside and get this thing set up. I'm putting it over there on the right-hand side of my base. I have a real large room right there. And I'll put this right in here. Now I need to put this down in a certain way. The table goes right here. You need to have space around that. So I have that area marked out there on the floor. And then around that, you have your bookcases. Now to make this work, you need 15 bookcases. And there are different ways you can stack those. They all have to be within one block of the enchanting table, though, for that to work. So I'm going to do a double stack for this. Now, first off, we'll have to get books to make that. So let me show you how you do books. I have my crafting table right over there. And for a book, it's real simple. You just put a leather right there and then surround that leather with paper. And that gives you a book. And I'll need that book right down there. There we go. Now, each bookshelf requires three books. And we need 15 bookshelves. So that's 45 books. That's not that bad. All right, let's now make a bookshelf. And this is back here at the crafting table. And for this, we're going to need some planks across the bottom and top kind of like a bookshelf, and then books right across the middle. There we are. And you get one bookshelf that way. And again, we need 15 of those bookshelves, and I have those right over here. I'm going to get some space down here for that. I'll bring in my bookshelves. And with this, we have enough now to make our enchanting table set up. Okay, I'll start by putting down the bookshelves. I'll go to the back here, and right across the back, I'll just put down two rows. There we go. So you have six bookshelves here. And then to this side, Let's stack two, and this side we stack two. That gives me 14, and then one more right there, and that's our 15. So there we go. Now you could do this if you wanted to, just a single layer, and it just comes out right here and goes over here, and also fills in those two back corners. That also works. We can now make our enchanting table, and for that, let's go back over to the crafting table. There we go, and pretty easy. You just take some obsidian and make a little shape just like that. And then you take diamond for the corners. You can see how this looks kind of like the symbol right here. And then you put a book on top. And there is your enchanting table. Okay, we can now place this down into our library area. And I'll put it right there. Notice that it opens up and you begin to see these spells coming in from the books. The books give power to the enchanting table. There it is. If I back away from this, you see the book closes as we go away. There we go. And as we approach it, the book's going to open up for us. There it is. Okay, to use the enchanting table, we need to have some tools or weapons or armor, something like that, something to get the enchantment on. And we also need to have a bunch of lapis lazuli. So I have some right here. There we go. There's some lapis. And there's a tool. I also have a sword right there. That should do it. And having some books is a good idea. Let's just get these out of the way. And I'll bring down some books. Plus, make this really useful, you want to have a grindstone and an anvil. Let's get those set up first. I'll put a grindstone right there. You can use this to remove enchantments off of an item. And then let's put the anvil right here. And you can use this with books to place enchantments on items from books. All right, let's go back over here. Now, to make this work, let's just walk up to it and right click there we go and you place an item into the left hand side and you get all of these enchantments over here now these come at random i can then use one of these just by clicking on this and then apply that onto my items just do the efficiency there we go that's now been given the enchantment here of efficiency one now these different enchantments come in at random but they're not going to go away until you've used them. So here's I'm breaking one, efficiency two, and I'm breaking three. If I didn't want to use any of those, I can't get rid of those until I put them onto something. So having some books is a nice way to go. So I'll just do this on my book. So I'll take the one here with the lowest value, and I'll use that. So now I have an enchantment on that book. And then you can keep that up until you find the ones you want to have. I'll put another book up in here. And this time there's power four. That's a good one. Protection two, that's good. Sharpness one. So you can then choose which ones you want to use. 
Now, once you have an item enchanted like this, if you want to remove that enchantment and get back that XP, just use the grindstone for that. So if you take your item, put it here into the repair and disenchant, there we go, and that removes that enchantment and then it puts that XP back into your account so you have that back. So you can remove enchantments you don't want and then gain that XP back. Now if you want to put an enchantment on an item from a book, just go right here. The book goes on the second side and this is unbreaking and it has to go onto an item that can take an unbreaking enchantment. In this case, swords and shells can both take that, that's fine. So you put your item over here and it then takes your item and that enchantment from that book and places it onto the item right there. There we go. If you like this video, hit that like button and I'll see you next time.